Hey everyone, today I've been streaming yet again and I've tried out some Crow deck from Shinmiri and I modified it a bit and now it has some tutor cards in there and it fits my place a little bit better and we did so great with it, we only lost one game today, I thought let's make a guide out of it and this is where we are right now. So one more thing, don't forget if you like what I'm doing, subscribe down below, it really helps me and supports me and I would really appreciate it and I would say let's get right into the guide. This deck is all about utilizing combos. It has different combos you want to use in different rounds depending on what your enemy plays, if you want to go for a long round or a short round. We're going to look at each of them right now. So let's quickly look at the deck and while I look at the deck, I'll go for the combos as well. So this one is the first. It's Gidenif. It's the scenario card from Skellige and every time you play Druid, you, pro um, you progress the scenario. First time you spawn a there you go, a Crow Clank Preacher. Every time you play an Alchemy card, it boosts by one. That's not the main feature though. The main feature is that you just get a Druid on board so you can play your own Crow's Ivory Storm, for example. It's nice that you get this boost, but it's, it does, you don't necessarily need too much. Um, Madrom is nice as well. It gives you some nice point boost. By damaging your bit free, then boost it by nine. Typically, you use it just as a six point boost. So that's the scenario. And. What you want to do typically is, as soon as you play the scenario, is to trigger all of it as once. Because you don't know if the enemy has artifact removal or not, so the sooner you get it out, the better. So what you can do is, or what you typically want to do is, as a combo, is you want to wait until run 3, or if you want to push in run 2, then in run 2, you want to play Gaiden if, if there is some stuff in your grave, uh, graveyard. For example, if you have an Emrion in your graveyard, you can use your second wind ability, which means you can revive and replay a Skellige unit from your graveyard, which could be Emiron, and Emiron is a druid, so you play Emiron as a druid, then Emiron can pick up any alchemy cards. This is Emiron, play ranged, play an alchemy card from your deck, and one of the alchemy cards is Freya's Blessing. So you just play Freya's Blessing from the revived, uh, from the revived um, Emiron, and immediately you can revive another druid. For example, this time only a bronze druid. You could rest a crow clan druid. So you play dru two druids immediately after you played Gidenif, triggering the whole scenario at once, which is pretty powerful and gives you over 30 points right away. So if you're in a short round, for example, you just have three cards left and you still have lead ability, this is what you want to do for sure. You just put on the 30 points on the board and the enemy will look really stunned. So that's one of the combos you can do with Gidenif. Um, I've rolled a green there because I like a bit more tutoring. There are other decks, for example, like this whole deck is kind of based on Shinmiri's version, um, but I put out some cards because, and like, for example, Royal Decree put in, because tutoring your Chrome Mother, for example, reliably, or having a way to fix your combo pieces, for example, Filled Curl or Knut, it's very important to me, and the good thing is, Roll Decree is something you can also pull with Matahuri, one of the new cards from Merchant of Ophir. Uh, Matahuri, you probably know it uh, at this point, probably one of the most played cards right now. If you play on ranged, and if the enemy doesn't have passed, you haven't passed, and like you still can draw cards. You draw the best card of your deck, like provision-wise, and damage draws um, the lowest, the worst card of the deck, provision-wise. Um, so this acts like a roll decree, can give you Gideon, for example, can give you a Swap Blood Totem, can give you Chrome Mother, and if you don't have roll decree in hand, it also can give you roll decree, for example. So you can also fix um, your deck, so you have two fixes, roll decree or Matahuri, it's most of the time you have one of those in your deck, which reliably gets you those cards you need. Um, Swap Blood Totem is an older card, you just play it, you spawn Two for there are two swap of fanatics. Um, basic two, you transform into bear nation. It has an order ability, so you can use the um, you can trigger the order ability to deal damage to both of them, and they will uh, transform to a five point abomination, which are beasts. And this is like the next big thing uh, because what you want to do combo wise in this deck is you want to put as many beasts onto the board as possible because you have a card that is called Axel Free Eyes, and what Axel does is 
Um, it theoretically can spawn a crow in this row, but that, that's more a fallback mechanism. You want to use it to boost self by one for each other beast. So the more crows you get on the board for cards like Crow Mother, which spawns two crows at deploy, for example, through Gedanif, who uses the crows Arizona, which spawns three crows because you always have a druid on the board. And for cards like where well, crows Arizona as a special card, and at end, um, you get a lot of beasts on the board, which boost an axel to at least 10, 11, maybe even more. So it's a really good card, especially if you go second or finish and run free. Um, if you want to play druids and you want to play the scenario, you typically want to play in the same round axel as well. Um, so that's uh, about the crow beast combo. So that's why Swalbot Totem is nice because it gives you more beasts. Uh, crow Mother is not only good because it spawns two crows, but it also gets in the grave that every time you play an alchemy card, it will revive itself and put the spawn on the board, which gives you like four additional points in round two and round three if you play for both of them, which I typically recommend. And you have a lot of alchemy cards to trigger this, so this is why it's it's often useful to use Matahuri or the Kree um, in round one to actually get the Chrome Mother to have like the additional carryover value later round. Typically, I would like to use Royal Decree because Matahuri is even better in front three. If you can put a shitty card in your opponent's hand, if you play Matahuri in round one, you get the Crow Mother, but the enemy can more like get away the shitty hand. It can Matahuri you in round three, you have nothing against it. So that's why you probably want to keep it front free. Then we have a good combo, which is Valkal uh, and Knut. Valkal is just a five point uh, body with Berserk 2 ability. So as soon as he goes Berserk 2, it transforms into Champion of Swallblood. And that's a 12 point card with the ability to heal itself if it eats, for example, one of your crows, which is a good trait. Um, typically, you trigger this by using Knut. Um, it damages an elite unit to the right by half of its current power. So you put it left to Wildcal. Immediately, it will transform Wildcal to the champion of um, uh, to the champion of Swallblood, while Knut will deal 3 damage to the enemy. So, pretty decent. Um, you can use Second Wind on each of them. So, if you want to play Wildcal or Knut in round 1, for example, already, you can then use in round two or round three, especially in a short round, which is very important. Um, Will Carl immediately play second win, play the other combo piece, and you immediately get a lot of points on the board as well. Emron, we already talked about, good combo piece to get druids on the board. Gramist has Purify, which is really decent. Every time you play an alchemy card, um, you get additional Purify. Um, basically, the, the ability refreshes. So, um, useful against arist 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 aristocrats and poison. Uh, but it's also good because it is a druid and a six point body. So you can also uh, use it to 40 year scenario. Um, the Giga Scorpion, the, uh, the Cockchin, is one of your. Or I think it's the only offensive spell or ability we have in this deck. So use it wisely to take out key targets. And since it's an alchemy card, it triggers um, the other cards. And you can pull it with Emeron, which is important as well. Freya, useful to get your druids on the board, um, rest your druids, or you can use it also to resurrect your Chrome Messenger if you play it in round one. So you have two more beast tags in round three and get six point, six point bodies, so to say, on the board, like two three point bodies. Really good for that as well. Chrome Messenger, if you have one of them in your hand and you have an alchemy card in your hand, it will pull out the rest of your Chrome Messengers, which is only one from the deck onto the board. Theoretically, you can also create another crow with runestone. And it's also very good because if you rest one of those in run free, it will pull out all the crow messages also from your graveyard. So if you get from runestone a crow messenger, you actually get nine points on the board for from your Freya. It doesn't happen often, but if it does, it's cool. So this is another card not a lot of people probably like. I like it because it gives you options. Most of the time it's something around four to six value. Sometimes you get a chrome message, it's more. If you don't like the runestone, I also put it in because it's an alchemy card, you can get rid of the runestone. It's, it, it probably is even better to the deck. I think the deck is stronger without the runestone. I still like the runestone because I like the options and the... I like the randomness, it's, I just like it. Um, so if you want to put in something else for five, there are cool bombs in there. Um, for example, so even, even Alsace Thunder is not bad, right? It gives you much more, it's an, an additional offensive capability. Um, do it, change it out, um, it won't hurt. Raging Bear is good because it's a 7-point body, and if you play it first in the round, then it won't trigger its deployability, so just get a 7 uh, for 5, which is pretty decent. You can also use Raging Bear to trigger your Valkal if it already is damaged, or 
if um, you still have like your small blood fanatics out there and um, they are out of reach of the totem for what why ever um, you can still hit it and worst case or it's not worst case also you can um, hit the crow mother it only has four points if you play two elder brothers on a crow mother it goes to the graveyard and you can summon it right away if you just play another Atim card. So, um, Raging Bear, just good value. I have the Bomb Heaver in there because a lot of people play scenarios and I typically don't want to have it on my hand. But since I'm playing Roll Decree, I can just lie in the deck and whenever I see that the enemy is playing a scenario, I can just use Roll Decree to pull it out of my deck, destroy a scenario and it's fine. So, small lookup card for me. Cloak, Crow Clan Druid is a Druid, so good to rest and a 2 for the, uh, for the use scenario but it also boosts addition adjacent beasts by 2 since you have a lot of crows on the board this typically plays for an 8 and 8 for 5 is pretty good as well Spore saved myself <laughs> saved my arm already a lot of times typically it's um, good if you play for example against consume um, but it's also really good against um, horde syndicate and other cards which just go high on themselves so if you want to have it in your deck if you need it, you keep it. If you don't need it, you mulligan it away, no harm done. Just good to have it. And Beastmaster, more like the filler cards, they typically play for around 5 to 7, depending if the vitality goes through. Um, so it's also not a bad card for 4 point provision. And that is kind of the deck. One thing before we go into gameplay is that you want to play short rounds because all your combos, if it's Valkal, Knut, or if it's the scenario with the Druids, they really drive in a long round, and the longer the round is, the more your opponent gets out of it, because um, it typically putting points in short round is harder than putting them on in the long run because of engines, for example. So especially against engine decks, you want to play short, but you typically want to play short as well. So push round two. If you want to go a card down, do it. It doesn't matter. Like Going a card down and having a short round um, where the enemy can't develop his engines, but you can go high with your combos is worth it. So. Push, 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 get the short rounds, win the game. That's the guide right there. <laughs> and now I would say let's head into gameplay again, see how this plays out and well, have fun. So let's try this again. You've got the heart what is this? Why is this card burning? Okay, it's the death wish thing. I like the death wish thing. It also means we need to be careful. Let's see. As this, uh, this is the only direction I really have, so I keep this. We don't need Freya. Now we also can get the crows out. I'm not sure what Krem is, but. Crows are good. We don't have Axel, though. We maybe can get Vulcal with Totem and Bear. Yeah, it's not over. Or state our welcome. It's a long time since I've been first, by the way. Okay, so we need to make a choice here. Do we want to go Valkar or not? If I play Valkar right now, he at least can't use any death wish effects right away. Except he uses this, and that's fine for me. Can he kill it right away? Don't think as well. I think most of the death wish decks kind of play to themselves oh we need to play swab blood totem before that otherwise we have a problem with call problem now is if he sets it up in a good way i mean he can't play manticore anymore Miruna will steal one of the fours. So I think with the totem we actually are, we're kinda of safe here. So it should be okay. So the next plays would be probably Vilkal and the Raging Bear. If he, if we don't use the totem right now, because if if he kills Vilkal, then we still wanna have the fanatics again. Milkal can give me the edge. The funny thing is we can even use them just second win to get a 12 point um, card. Well, that's pretty nice of you. That's pretty good as we just play Milkal here. Kind of goes like plan here. 
Let's see. I'm not sure why it plays Bruxa though. I mean, it tries okay, but the death wish takes I know. Maybe this is some hybrid variant. Like, just actually, don't play death wish, but he plays some different deck and just has some death wish combos he wants to use. It could be totally possible. Voodoo Child, thank you very much for a follow. Uh, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you being here. Desert Banshee. Look at this. This is what we could like to want to, what we would like to kill, I guess. But I think we want to get Wild Call first. There we go. Let's go for the Lamp Chain. 832, and this will transform as well. It's not bad. I think it's okay. If you play, if you now play Chrome Messenger and Finibit, we may be able to pass at six or five, -ish. six maybe. It depends on what he pulls out. Oh god! So he can do a lot of value here, but I don't want to use my concoction. Maybe I need to use it first. I need to get my crows out though, because without the uh, decoction, I can't get my crows out. So I play my crows out now, and now I either pass. Or I play my decoction. So let's see. We depends what I think he will pull out value wise. There's only so much you can consume. You can consume two cards now, which is pretty decent. You know what we want to have? We want to have spores. I need to have spores at some point in this game. Okay. So kill the free. 17. Do you think you can make 17 in two cards? If you play the Cockchin now and the Desert Benji, I don't think he will. But then he passes. I would rather see him go nuts to get 17 points. A Band, uh, a Harpy Egg is 8. Another 8 is 16. If he plays Miruna, then he plays Miruna and Light's fine. I want to see the points. Come on. Show me. Show me your good stuff. Because he can also only consume one. He needs to play Yigren or something. So... Ebertron. Yigren was something small. Yeah, well... Yeah. <laughs> Still. Better now than later, I guess. And later, I want to use the spores in Austral when he eats the Yikiran. So... I can't deal with the Yikiran anyways. There's only... Only the Coction could deal with it, so... Also, he's thinking, look at this. I like it when he thinks. Ooh! No Yikiran, I tell you. This looks good for me. This looks... Oh, yes! And we get the death wish. <laughs> we got the whole ruining combo. Oh, this is amazing. I gambled, and I won. <laughs> so I got the ruining combo out. I got death shit out. This is very good. Yeah, I don't care. And now he can't even push me run two. So we... Okay, we play long run three now. Which is not too good, but on the other hand, I got death shot out, so you can't combo me, and we got this, this ruining combo out, so I don't know, we'll see. And we got our druids, and we got Knud in combination, but actually, never mind. Um, so we need to play one card, I guess, which would be the bear master. I kind of want to keep the decoction, but I also won't need to look for other cards. Kramer is a 10, I probably will get that through Matahuri. Or oh, this one. Maybe I kind of get this into the grave. Oh, look at this, it's perfect. So I'm going to play Chroma now if he passes. This way I can get her into the graveyard. And I take the additional mulligan. 
So Matahuri gives me whatever I choose because I'll get Royal Decree from it, which is pretty decent. And then I get Emiron from it, which gives me the Freya, which gives me the big combo. I really need to think what I need now because I get those. That's fine. Spores. I mean, spores would be... Should I try to look for spores? If I get Freya, though, I have a problem. But I have energy mulligan. We need to look for it. Uh, I don't know. Do we keep Brunestone? Spores! I like it. This is how we work. This is why we take the additional card in the beginning. Uh, yeah, do we do this? How do we start? Do we start with Mat... Oh, wait. No, we can't. Right? Four? Where's my hand? Where's my hand cards? Oh, 10 by 10. There we go. Okay, so how do we start this? Do we start with Grammist? I mean, I don't think so. We need to, on the other hand, like, he's a druid. I kind of don't want to start with this one because I want to... Huh. Just see that I don't have anything good to rest except the crows in the background. So maybe I need to start with this. But if he has artifact removal, if he has artifact removal, he has artifact removal. What can I do? Come on, destroy it if you want to. This is my rest anyway. And then I can play Knut on it, deal 6 damage, and then I eat one of my crows, and then he'll be back at 12. It's actually not bad. So having a, this one graveyard is really decent. <laughs> and if he doesn't kill it, then we are, it's, it's fine. Also, if a druid now, we could play this. Death wish. Season only oh, three or less power. I mean, this is why we want to get crows out right now. Because so it doesn't get this one. There we go. It may seize the crow mother, but the chances are higher that it takes the crows. May want to play this right away as well. But if he plays Werecat, I don't know. We'll see. I think Emiron into Freya, and then we get to other crows out, and then we play some big Exile at some point. is dangerous. Okay. I mean right now this doesn't worry me too much. Could I go crow clan druid or we could go for another crow? Not sure if he runs Lambert or something I don't think to be honest. I think there's also a good time to play with the Hori. With me, you'll forget your sorrows. There you go. So this will give me Emiron. And Emiron will give me Freya. And then you can finish this in one turn if you want to. I'm not too sure what I want to do with this. We could have maybe I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, so he has two beasts. Maybe just wanna use the Kochi now. On one of those. And then next, or we knew it. But then this will grow for sure. Maybe I, I, I oh, we have still one spore though, but I want to use it on consume. Let's knew it. Pew pew, pew pew. Next round, we're going to. Eat a crow, and then it's back 12. Now no one of us has lead abilities anymore. But we are quite ahead.
Okay, let's see what he has. Keltulis! Keltulis kills my crows. Huh. I can hit down to three. But that's about it. I didn't expect to kill Tullis. I mean, you can just swarm and therefore survive. But it's not the optimal one. There's not the optimal way to do this. If I kill his Neurona, he's still a crow, and I eat one of mine. Then I have five. And he has five. And he needs to play next, right? Ah, no, I'm not. But he eats my crow mother, right? So it's fine. No, it's fine. It's five, five. No, no, I, I calculate correctly. I kind of disabled his cool toys, at least for now. He can still consume. I still have cards like this, but... Uh, I need to think how I'll proceed now. I'll probably just go for the crow message anyway. The good thing is now he eats my crow mother, which is totally okay, because I'll just get her back. I can also just play this right now, get the crow mother right back, and then just try to get a big axle right now. And then I continue with Freya. So there's the crow mother. Next round I play Emiron and two more crows, and then I just play Axel to save what I can save. Maruna's wording still unclear, what do you mean? That she just steals a random unit? Okay. I haven't seen Fiend in a long time. Yeah, she will burn my crows, I don't know. I don't care. Emiron, come to Papa. I can help you if you wish. Ah, Rista. Freya. More crows. So next round we need to play Axel then. At some point we need to hope that he. I should have played the, played the crows here because I can't purify at the moment. Until he eats one of those crows. Yeah, it doesn't say that in her text. Yeah, that's true. It does not say that's a random unit. I mean, I can boost this crow, so I know it will eat this, so it's fine. So... There you go. What do we hit? Chromata, I guess. We're not Igni able yet. I think I don't think he does. If you play Kaltulis, it's unlikely that he also Igni. I mean the point difference right now is really hard actually. So let's see what else he has in there. Kieran makes sense. I hope he eats a lot with Kieran because I wanna get a good sport. Come on, keep eating. Keep eating. Yes! So now let's hope that he eats this crow. We just place it here, so it will boost those. We just eat this. Currently, we also have space, so yes, we don't necessarily need to. But hey. I don't care. Just use this to boost now. I'm playing Grammys and then I'm getting some big spores on the Kieran. And everything will be fine. Maybe even on the beast. I don't know. We will see. Should have boosted those actually. Because now he will 
eat one of the three. So I lost a point right there. Never mind. It's one point. Anyway, I should have placed this one here. So those are more. Um, so those will be the targets of Kaltuas. Kaltuas is getting quite a ton of value here. Well, that's how it is. That's how it is. Okay, we can zoom, but it doesn't have any trigger. I don't think it looks too good for him right now. Oh god, this is such a good sport. I love sports. Gods, not a moment's purified. Nah, we keep purified. I don't know. We don't know what Shinigans he has in there, I don't know. Next will be the Kajentic Sports. Well, currently it's Kieran. Mm -hmm. What do you want to consume? Well, friend. And... There we go. Nearly double the points. Yeah, leaving armor, sure. Why not, I guess? Why not Jigren, though? That was quite a lot of points we were ahead here. Today? The one when Temity actually raided us, the rest of the games we won. You've got the heart this is correct? I'm not sure. But I think so. Okay, now this will probably be the toughest match because we are playing against the Poison. That means Kremist will be our friend. We have the Crows, we have Alchemy, we don't need Freya. This is a good combo to have in round one. And we start. Maybe just start Crows, Druid, and then we can think of Wild Call. He may want to lock it, poison it, whatever. We need to see. Let's see. Poison's kind of like the, the, the worst enemy you want to play. Oh god, it's Mill. Sorry. Here's our chance. I hate meal. I mean, who doesn't? I guess. So what we need to do now is we need to win round one. We can't pass. That is what we need to do here. This is so meal. Ah, roll decree. I mean, roll decree is okay because I don't wanna. Oh wow, he's yeah, so going. He's, Going hard clear right now. Barbarian. Bow low. I mean, he doesn't have the value though, that's the good thing. So we can keep playing here. How do we do this? Do we build call now? I should have played back real hard. Ooh. A lot of fives here. Yeah, okay. Should have played him here. That was my bad. My mistake. I could have saved Bill Kill. At least now we can play a combo, but that was definitely a mistake. Should have, should then have done that. I mean, we have a druid. Let's get crows out for Axel. Also, let's play Axel early. I'm thinking of playing what the Hura, Huri right now, it's just to get the Chrome out of. It helps in Finn, of course, but uh, it also helps me get the Chrome out of. Okay. Do it then. Long live the Emperor! Don't hear. Do I want the Huri or not? What do I do here? I think so. Also helps with Axel. Oh, <gasps> so the totem has the same um, amount of provisions. 
Anyway, round one is critical. And round two we will win. Round two we will for sure. What we need to do is we just need to win round one and we go in short run in round two, we play second wind no into Knut, into uh, you know, Knut will call and we we won. This means we may think of playing the scenario here. Thinking of it. We have the druids to make it work. But we kinda don't have the space anymore. I mean, maybe he has artifact removal. We'll see. If he has artifact removal, that's how it is. If he passes, then um, we push him hard and run too. We kind of keep Emeron now. Next thing, maybe Grammist actually. I don't think we'll require the tomb. Yeah, that's the pass. Okay, so we lost the uh, scenario, but we still have like the good compass here. It's a bit sad that we didn't play Axel because we had a lot of crows out there. We can play Emery into Freya and then get some crows as well. So it's 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 fine. There's a crow model. We even have Beastmaster bonded. Do I need those? I don't think so. Let's play it as it is. Let's play it as it is. We could have looked for Raging Bear, but hey. I think we start with Chromata, and then just go Emeran into more Crows. Use the Beastmasters, play our Knut combo in the end, and everything is fine. That's a very neutral play. I know I don't... Yes, <laughs> The funny thing is, if he plays Matahuri now, I think I'll draw into the golem. I can help you if you wish. So there we go. We serve her there are my crows. I'm going to Beastmaster them now. I play some totems, play Axel, play the Purify if needed, if he plays Poison. And then we finish off with some Knut World Call and see how we do. And then we hope that this way we can kill Mill. Hashtag kill Mill. Sure. <laughs> More milk cards back into the deck. If the magic dies, this world dies with it. Let's give it to Vitality. <clears throat> Next one we boost, probably this crow, crow here. Then we go to them. Yeah, he gets another tactic card. Sure. Just, okay, I didn't expect that to be honest. I mean, it gets six points, it's pretty okay. It's like an assassination. Boost another crow. Play the totem. Still in like an eight point card, it's not terribly good. We still have lead ability, I don't I, I still think we can do this. Sure. Don't care too much about it. Is this the point where we go Axel? You can play Velcal quickly in there to get the additional Benefits. I mean, if he has Bonhart and stuff, but he can still hit Axel, so. I want to play Wilkel here to soak some of the damage. Show me what flows in your there we go. So now we have mm, even more beasts. 
which gives Axel um, an additional benefit. So yeah, here's Bonhart for sure. We have one, two, three, four, five beasts. And I just play this for six, I guess, and that's it. Yeah, that's working for it. Maybe... Does the golem come out now? No, the bear. Perfect. Yeah, there we go. Nice. That's how we beat Mill. Just push run two. Thanks everyone for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what I'm doing. And if you have some thoughts or some comments, there's a comment function of YouTube. You all know it. Put your comments there. I'll reply. I try to reply to all the comments. So I hope you have a good day and well, see you next time.